In latest version of Adobe Dimension the Export UVs command has been renamed as Selected Objects UVs and located in File Export to Selected Objects UVs. It works in the same manner as for previous version of Dimension. 3D models use a system called UVs to control how graphics, images, and textures are applied to the model. UVs are a representation of a 3D model flattened into 2D space. The exported UV from Dimension consists of several layers. Before showing the main workflow let's understand type of layers in exported file. Select a model you want to create an image for. Use the export to selected objects UVs option from file menu. Then select a resolution and location to save your UV image to an export UV. Open your UV image in your editor of choice, such as Photoshop. Exported UV PSD file consists of several layer and each of them can be used for different tasks. They are UV guide layers. UV export will generate a PSD format image for your model's UVs with several guide layers to help with the process. Each layer serves a purpose and is outlined here. Outlines UVs are created by artists or generated by machines and are often segmented into areas called UV shells. The outline layer shows the seams and edges of these areas. Non-editable area UV space is always in a 1 to 1 ratio space, so when UVs often don't use 100% of the image area. The non-editable area layer shows which sections are outside of the UVs and won't show up on the model surface. Model overlay. Models are made of triangles, sometimes thousands, or millions. The model overlay layer shows the edges of all the polygons that make up your model, and can be helpful for identifying some features. Texture Grid The Texture Grid layer is an informational aid. Once the image is applied to the 3D model, it can be used as a guide to determine where to place graphics. Let's see how to use export to selected objects UVs for designing 3D object. How to apply graphic. Open Adobe Dimension. Select the material and choose base color icon. Open the window and drag and drop or open window and place exported PSD file. You can also apply a PSD file as a decal with decal property fill or apply the image directly into a material property, such as base color or any of the material properties, the image will only apply to that property. Click on edit icon and open PSD file. Place your logo or image into PSD file. When you're satisfied with your final design, Turn off all the guide layers and save or apply your final artwork to the model. Thus will update PSD in Adobe Dimension and you can see your changes on the selected object. You can use the edit command to continue to edit the graphics and see updates between your 3D scene and Photoshop. In this example the bottle material is slightly metallic, so the graphic maintains that attribute. Troubleshooting export to selected objects UVs issues as discussed above, UVs are an entire system for mapping a model into an image space. Many 3D modeling tools include a tool set for unwrapping UVs to create artistically arranged UVs. UV export does not include mapping tools for controlling how the model is unwrapped, it exports existing UVs. There are some limitations that are important to be aware of. 
You can use the menu option export to selected objects UVs to replace the current UVs of your model with automatically generated UVs from dimension. Generated UVs will never have overlap and will minimize distortion, but may have many areas and seams and will not be artistically arranged. When you generate UVs, you're changing the mapping of images and materials to the surface, so existing materials or graphics may change how they look. It is recommended that you generate UVs early in the process before doing much material and graphic work. Export to selected objects UVs issues comparison here you can see a comparison for two types of UVs for the same coffee cup object. On the left are UVs created by the original artist and are artistically arranged to take the best advantage of the image space and are easy to understand. On the right are UVs that were automatically generated. The model is cut into more pieces and the space isn't used as well, but it requires no manual work. Overlapping UVs in UV space a common technique to save space is to overlap pieces that share details. For example, a symmetric object may be modeled and then the model and UVs are mirrored. Overlapping the UVs means that the image in that area will also be overlapped. To resolve overlapping UVs, you can use the Object Generate UV menu option. Dimension will auto-generate UVs that do not overlap, though they may still have distortion in the logical seams. Distortion UVs can be squashed and stretched. Usually the artists and UV unwrapping algorithms attempt to minimize distortion, but it's sometimes impossible to have UVs be completely distortion-free. You can sometimes distort the graphic in the UV image to counter the distortion in how it's applied to the model. Seams When UVs are created the model is broken into areas, called UV shells. Each UV shell has seams that cut the surface so it can be laid flat in UV space. Seams in UV space also mean seams in the textures, which isn't always a bad thing. Logical seams can break the model up for texturing easily. Sometimes seams may not line up between different features of the model in UV space, or may be placed in a way that makes creating a graphic across the seam difficult. Graphic layers in decal mode are projected across seams. You can combine UV export and decals as needed. Poorly made UVs Often the result of auto-generated UVs that have never been looked at, sometimes UVs are jumbled up. The result is usually that the UVs are messy or impossible to work with. To resolve poorly made UVs, you can use the Object Generate UV menu command. Dimension will auto-generate UVs that do not overlap, though they may still have distortion in the logical seams.